This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create really amazing particle logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see what we will create today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay so let's get started. Okay so first create a new composition. Let's call it particles logo animation and I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration 12 second long then click on ok. Ok now import your logo you can also use text as well. Now select our logo and project file and drag it into this composition. You can download this uh, full project file from link in the description box below and it's 100% free. So please check this out. Now select your logo and place it into this timeline. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Now select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok. Now create another composition let's call it pattern. Then click on ok. Now go to project window and select our logo comp then place it into this composition. Then go to effect and preset window and search for cell pattern. Now select this effect and apply onto this uh, layer. Then contrast, set it to 50. And then cell pattern, set it crystal. And size, maybe set it 8. Now go to effect and preset window and search for coloroma. Now select this effect and apply onto this uh, layer. Perfect. Now again go to project window and create another composition. Let's call it map. Then click on OK. Now go to project window and select our logo comp and place it into this timeline. Then go to effect and preset window and search for fractal noise. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Contrast set it 500 and brightness set it 15. Then go to transform and decrease the scale amount a little bit, something like this. Perfect. Now go to particles logo animation comp. Then go to project window and select our map and pattern comp. Then place it into this timeline. Then turn off visibility of these layers. Now select our matte layer and place it into this timeline. Now simply select this logo comp and change that wrap mat to luma mat. Perfect. Now go to uh, effect and preset window. Select this uh, logo comp and then go to effect and preset window and search for shatter. Now select this shatter effect and apply onto this logo comp. Now render set it, uh, sorry, view set it rendered, then go to shape and then pattern set it custom and then custom shutter map set it our pattern and then repetitions set it 3 and then uh, extrusion depth set it 0. 
then go to force 1 and strength set it 0 then go to force 2 then radius set it to maybe point uh, 50 2 or 3 and strength set it minus 0 0.10 then go to gradient and gradient layer set it our map and then go to physics and then uh, rotation speed set it 1 and then randomness set it 0.46 maybe and then gravity set it 0 0.10 perfect now go to around 3 seconds then set a keyframe on uh, shattered threshold then go to around 6 seconds and increase the threshold amount to 100% looks good to me and then change the force position to something around here perfect looks good to me Okay, now select all these layers, then right click, then choose pre compose and select mobile attributes and rename it to main. Now, again, go to project window and then select our matte layer, then place it into this timeline, then move it forward. Design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations photos audio files and more all with commercial license for extra peace of mind Envato elements will make any projects better while saving your time efforts and money Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. Okay, now select this layer, then change the track mat to Luma Inverted Mat. Our animation is complete. Okay, let's run preview this. I hope you like this tutorial thank you very much i will see you in the next video till then peace out